Good morning, folks. Today is the Sunday, literally, at the Electric Universe Conference. I'm in Phoenix, and this was my first dust storm last night. We see some footage here. And while we do, I want to thank Keith at Nettles Air Conditioning for continuing to safely house the Mobile Observatory here in Phoenix. Thanks to Gary Gray for making some awesome conference handouts, and thanks to Eugene for some beautiful Belarusian gifts. I've got two speeches this morning, then it's back home to my family. Combining 131 and 211 angstroms here, we see a calm day on our star. No flares or filament eruptions in Earth's direction, or any direction really. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we check in on the solar flaring and indeed find the calm settled in after last week's flare bonanza. One sunspot group departs top right while the next sunspot group is finally entering the Earth-facing disk. Then. We come to the CME impact. It indeed struck hours earlier than predicted yesterday, but at only a fraction of the particles. The fastest ones peaked out over 800 kilometers per second, but above an orange we see it was virtually nothing. The magnetosphere handled it just fine. We have had no disruptions from this event, and the high energy proton radiation is fading away. The bulk mass of the CME was still of light density, but it was more significant than the initial shock wave and arrived on time, well within the predicted speed. Right now we just have some satellite charging conditions, but they should be over soon. Remember, we've got Venus and Jupiter lining up for an earthquake watch starting tomorrow. That's half the factors. The other half dances onto the Earth-facing disk now, a strong southern coronal hole that will add to the quake watch by Monday night. Until then, seismicity has been moderate, above average in Egypt there, very rare quake. You see two low pressure nodes on land here. Eastern system is a double earth spot while the northern system is one solid inflow. Eastern system shifts offshore today as the Midwest will see the other low slide in for tonight's top alerts. We've got the pressure and precipitable water for our other top viewer locations followed by some current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 2.30 a.m. in Phoenix and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.